Serve practice 6.1, questions number 1. The diagram below shows two graphs plotted by using the given values in the respective tables for the equations y equal to x squared plus 1. Which graph show a graph of linear relations? State your reasons. So for questions A and B, the graph has been plotted to you. So for questions A, this is the graph of y against x. And for questions B, this is the graph of y against dx squared. So for the same equations, if we are plotting using the difference variables at the y and the axis, it's going to give you a different shape of graph. So the graph of linear relations is that this is graph when you connect all the dots that you have been plotted, it's going to form a straight line. So for questions one, the graph in B is a graph of linear relations as the graph in B, when you plot it, a straight line is obtained. Questions number two, draw the graph of y again x based on the given values in the following tables. So which graph show a graph of linear relations? State your reasons. So first we're going to plot the graph A. So first for the x-axis, I'm going to use 2 cm to 2 units. And for the y-axis, 2 cm to 5 units. So now let us first plot the scale. So now let us plot the points given in the table into the graph. So when you connect all the points together in graph A, the shape of the graph of 10 is a curve. Therefore, graph A is not a graph of linear relations. Next, we're going to plot the graph B. Here, I'm going to use for the x-axis 2 cm to 2 unit. And as for the x-axis, it's going to be 2 cm to 0.2 unit. Now, let us plot the point based on the values given in table in questions B. So, after connect all the dots in questions B, a straight line graph is obtained. Therefore, the graph in B is a graph of linear relations. Self-practice 6.2 questions number 1. The following table shows the value obtained from an experiment involving two variables, x and y. So plot the graph of y again x by using suitable scale on the x-axis and y-axis. Hence, draw the lines of best fit. So based on the data in the table, I'm going to use 2 cm to 5 units for both axes. So now let us plot the points given in the table into the graph. Now, to draw the lines of best fit, we're going to draw a straight line that passes through as many points as possible. And if there is any points that is not on the straight lines, so this point should be almost equally distributed on both sides of the straight lines. So this will be the graph in questions number one, look lines. So we have two points that is not on the straight lines. But these two points, they are equally distributed. So one is above the straight line and one is below the straight line. Questions number two. An experiment was carried out to determine the relations between extensions of spring, L, and mass of lot M, which was hang at the ends of the spring. The following table shows the results from the experiment. Plot the graph of L against M by using suitable scale on the M axis and L axis. So hence, draw the lines of best fit. So from here, the graph is L against M. So the L here will be placed on the Y axis and the M here will be the one that is on the X axis. So the scale that I'm going to use here is for the X axis, which is referred to the M. I'm going to use 2 cm to 20 units. And as for the L axis, I'm going to use 2 cm to 0.5 units. So now let us plot the points given in the table onto the graph. So now let us draw the lines of best fit. 
So this will be the graph of L against M for questions number two, look light. Self practice 6.3, questions number one. The graph of line of best fit in diagram on the right shows the value obtained from an experiment which involves two variables x and t. Express t in terms of x. So the graph here is a straight line graph. Therefore, we can form the equations by written it in the form of y equal to mx plus c. So based on the linear relations graph here, the variables that is labeled on the y-axis will be the capital Y. And the variables that is labeled on the x-axis here will be the capital X. So now let us substitute the capital Y and capital X here with T and X. So we're going to get T equal to MX plus C. So to form the equations, there are another two informations that we need. One is the M, which is the gradient and C, which is the y-intercept. So now let us find the m first. So you can always find the m, the gradient, using this formula, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So from the graph here, we're going to choose two points. So we're going to choose the point that is on the straight lines. So the first point that I'm going to choose will be this one. And the coordinates for this point will be 0 0.6 and for the y here, which is the t, we're going to be 1.2. The other point that I'm going to choose will be the y-intercept here. So based on the point here, the coordinate will be 0 and for the y will be 0 0.02. Now, to find what is the value of M, so I'm going to use 1.2 minus 0 0.02 over 0 0.6 minus 0. Solve this, you're going to find that the M is equal to 59 over 30. And the y-intercept, which is the C, is the 0 0.02. Or, if you return it in the form of fractions, it's going to be 1 over 50. Now, we already have the value of M and C. Just substitute it into the equations here. So, T will equal to 59 over 30X plus 1 over 50. So, as the T already become the subject of these equations, therefore, we already written it T in terms of X. Questions number two, the following table show the experimental values of two variables x and y. So A, plot the graph of y against x by using a scale of 2 cm to 10 units on the x-axis and 2 cm to 5 units on the y-axis. Hence, draw the lines of best fit. So first, we want to plot the scale. So now we're going to plot the values given in the table onto the graph. So now we're going to draw the lines of best fit. So this will be the graph of y against x look like. Questions B. From the graph, find the y-intercept and gradient of the line of best fit. So first, for the y-intercept, it will be the intersection point when the straight lines intersect the y-axis, which is here. So the value for the y-intercept will be 12.5. Next, to find the gradients, I'm going to choose two points that is on the lines on, of the best fit. So the first point that I'm going to choose will be this point which I highlight here. The coordinates of this point will be 60 and 35. The other point that I'm going to use will be the y-intercept. So the coordinates of the y-intercept will be 0 and 12.5. So to find the M, I'm going to use 35 minus 12.5 and divide it with 60 minus 0. So of this using a calculator, you'll find that the gradient is equal to 3 over 8. Or if you return it in decimal, it will be 
0.375. Question C. Determine the equations of the lines of best fit. So as this is a straight line, so the equations of the straight line, we can return it in y equal to mx plus c. So this is the capital Y. And the one that is labeled on the x-axis is the capital X. We also already have the M, which is the add over 3. We also already have the C, which is the Y intercept 12.5. So just substitute everything into the Y equal to MX plus C. Then you're going to get the equations of the lines of the best fit. So it's going to be Y equal to 3 over add X plus 12.5. Practice 6.4, questions number 1. The following table shows the value of x and y obtained from an experiment. A. Plot y against x by using a scale of 2 cm to 2 units on the x-axis and 2 cm to 5 units on the y-axis. Hence, draw a line of best fit. So first, let us plot the scale. So now let us plot the value given in the table into the graph. So now let us draw the lines of the best fit. So this will be the graph of y again x. Questions B from the graph finds number one the y intercept. So the y intercept will be the intersection points when the straight lines intersect the y axis. So here will be the y intercept. So the value for the y intercept here will be equal to 4. Number two, the value of y when x is equal to 12. So from the graph here, we're going to first draw the straight lines x equal to 12. So when the straight lines x equal to 12 intersect with the straight line that we plot, then we can find the value of y. So the value of y will equal to 22. Number three, the gradient. So to find the gradient, we need to use two points that is on the straight line that we plot. So the first point that I'm going to choose will be this point. And the coordinates of this point will be the x is equal to 14 and the y is equal to 25. The other point that I'm going to choose will just be the y-intercept. So for the y-intercept, the coordinate x will be 0 and the y is equal to 4. So to find the gradient m, it's going to be 25 minus 4 divided by 14 minus 0. Solve this, you'll find that the gradient is equal to 3 over 2. Number 4, the value of x when y equal to 15. So first we're going to draw the straight line y equal to 15 and the intersection points of the y equal to 15 to the straight line that we plot will give us the value of x. So the value of x will be equal to 7.4. Question C, find the equations of the line of best fit. Hence, calculate the value of y when x is equal to 28. So, this is a straight line. The equations will be y equal to mx plus c. So, in the questions B, we already find that the c, which is the y-intercept, is equal to 4. The m is equal to 3 over 2. And the variable that is on the y-axis and x-axis, we already know. Therefore, the equations will be y equal to 3 over 2x plus 4. Now, to find the value of y when x is equal to 28, we just need to substitute the x equal to 28 into the equations. So y is equal to 3 over 2 times 28 plus 4. Solve this using your calculator. The y will equal to 46.